Hello everybody! How are you there? So today, please join me. I'm going to make my lettuce wrap. It's my own recipe. It's very simple. Just something different what I do in my life in Canada after work. I cook and also um, I want to share to some of my viewers who have seen one of my short video and my other blog about cracking two egg yolks or twin yolks and the meaning behind it. I actually made a blog about it because I got curious what's the meaning about it. So in the Philippines, it simply means good fortune, but there are other meaning of it. So some of my viewers were asking what happened to you and they're commenting about it. So today I want to share also before I am going to start cooking and show you my cooking again um what happened so for the three meaning that i share with with that particular blog if any of you have seen it or watch it um there is positive and bad news about it. it 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 feels to me like all of those three things have happened to me um so let's start first with the good news so the good news is that I'm not the one who got pregnant, but my sister-in-law got pregnant. And then, um, the bad news about it, um, to one of the meaning that it was a warning, it's also a warning sign if you crack twin yolks. Um, one of our close friend uh, from the Philippines, after she had a surgery, and then she got home for recovery, so she accepted a guest in the house. So she doesn't know or nobody knows that the guest who came in their house has uh, COVID. She, she was positive with COVID, so she got contracted. So after that, that, they were just talking, having a conversation like that. So after she didn't feel well and they rushed her to the hospital again. And then after she... Um, actually dispose or discharge blood a blood blood stool after that she she just suddenly passed away it's all of a sudden and she's actually the close friend and best friend of my mom they've known each other since they were childhood so it's very very sad and then uh, the other bad news too is that my sister-in-law got pregnant but unfortunately after after a few weeks of uh, pregnancy um, the baby don't don't have a heartbeat so she has to go to the um, hospital to to take the baby inside the inside her so that's the bad news so all of those three things that I mentioned in my in my particular vlog like that, uh, all of them happened to me. I don't know if that's just a coincidence. And for me, probably the good fortune that's happening to me is like uh, after all this pandemic happened, um, I think uh, the good thing is that I'm... I'm having a stable job and continuously working all the time and so far we are doing good and we are doing great and we're having um, uh, good health which is the most important so that's what happened uh, after I cracked the twin twin yolks or two egg yolks for the very first time in my life because I cook eggs all the time and that's the first time that happened so um, it's really really sad or sad and bad news about it so let's get start for cooking right now as you can see so I'm going to share to you all of my ingredients for the ingredients that I am going to use for the lettuce wrap I have the ground beef and also the ground fork and I have the fresh potato that I am going to fill and the white onions and I have um, 
sweet peas that is frozen in the freezer right now and I have the carrots too and I have um, fresh lemon or the lemon in a bottle so I'm still thinking if I should use the fresh lemon or the other in the container because I was thinking to use the fresh lemon uh, for the other um, meat that I am going to cook. So I am going to fill the vegetable first. So let me put this here for now. Uh, I think my camera uh, adjusts one second. Yeah. So I'm just going to get the knife. So this is the carrots in Canada. So, and I can just get the plates here. So, this is what I do um, when I have time and I don't feel so tired after work. So, I said to myself, oh, maybe I will go into... Um, have a vlog when I am cooking because I feel bored because I'm alone here and my my son is studying doing a homeschooling and then my um, my fiance is busy um, playing his game upstairs and he just uh, relaxing right now because it's uh having a long day from work so so tired so we actually already had our dinner but it's nice to come home after work that you already have food that is already preferred in the fridge when you are really tired and you just have to warm it up so this is what i do i just feel the carrots probably i'm gonna use two carrots I was thinking to make a spring roll too, but I'll just make the spring roll tomorrow because it's a lot of work. I find that this is uh, easier to do it because tomorrow I'm going to be home earlier than today because today after work, I decided to chill out and go somewhere else. <laughs> I uh, actually grab some other things too that I need for cooking and I did some groceries after work so it's a busy day I'm just feeling the carrots right now mm, it's so fresh as you can see In the Philippines, we call this, like uh, in my dialect, the torta, tortang giniling. But I need my own recipe. How can I uh, make the lettuce rough out of it? Because we don't want to eat uh, too much rice. Because when I eat too much rice, I get so bloated. So I just want to eat something healthier too. I really don't know how to cook, but I just learned how to cook when I am in Canada because there are some foods like Asian food that I want to eat, but nobody can cook for me and they don't know how to really do it unless I go to the Asian market or Asian uh, restaurant or store to buy it and where we live right now we're not so accessible for that unless we go for a long drive so I just make and cook and so far um, the more I cook I get better because I make my own recipe too so maybe I have to close up the camera so you, I can show you the preparation of me of uh, slicing the vegetable. So here I'm just going to slice some carrots. And the carrots are so crispy. There. I 
I make my own recipe sometimes. A lot of times I do. Whatever ingredient I have, I just make something out of it. But this one is really healthy. I still want it something healthy. And very light at night time because at night time, when you eat something heavy, I find it's hard to digest it. Because as you get older, your body change. Hmm. It seems that I probably um, had too much carrots because the carrots are so big. I don't like cutting the onion because the onion make me cry. There you go. I think I need only one. I oh, know that's only the two. Okay. Two carrots. Big carrots. Must be perfect. I made a lot. I probably want to share this because it's too much. Okay. Now I'm just going to do the potatoes. With the two yolk egg, when I crack it, I was hoping because oh, uh, a lot of uh, people, after they crack it, two yolk egg, they suddenly got pregnant. But I said to myself, oh, that won't happen to me. If that's going to happen, it's going to be a miracle. One second. Okay. Because uh, I have uh, an issue for secondary infertility, that's why. And I already had a check for that, for the treatment. And the problem is that... Um, I just, I just don't ovulate every month, even though I'm getting my period every month. So, it's kind of, look. So, it's kind of, look, if I, if I got pregnant after I cracked the two yolk eggs. Um, because, um. When we had our treatment, when I had the treatment for infertility, I found out that um, my eggs are not matured because <laughs> every month, uh, every month the woman release eggs. So they're not. Even if I release one, it's not matured. So it's kind of flop, and the doctor even asked me like to for me to conceive naturally it's a miracle that it happened so i considered having my son a miracle even though i had him at young age at, at young age so i don't say it was an accident but it was a blessing in disguise and for for me to have a matured egg, they have to inject uh, medication, and it, each medication is costing for one shot one thousand dollars for one shot, and there's no guarantee that it's gonna gonna work. So we have to stop it. But we had a procedure too, but it just didn't happen. But 
I think uh, if God's will, it will be given to you because sometimes there are things in life that things happen unexpectedly. So here I had the chopped potato. And I'm just gonna slice it like this into cubes. Mm, I think I'm not gonna use all the potato because I don't want to waste it. Because sometimes when I don't have time to cook, the vegetables go bad. It was sitting here for a while because I'm the one who always cook here in the house. And I picked this up yesterday, this vegetable, so I prefer to cook it fresh because it tastes better when it's fresh. I don't know if you can see it. So there are um, um, and I also have cilantro. I'm gonna garnish it with cilantro. I normally put garlic but I just decided not to because sometimes it smells in the mouth so strong. Although garlic is very healthy for you. And now I am going to slice the uh, white onion. I don't know if I should use a different knife. Huh? Maybe I'll just use this one. White onion is sweet in Canada. It tastes sweet. It's actually uh, work good for the scrambled egg or the omelette. What I'm making right now is a simple meal that I created my own <laughs> a version. Something that is also healthy with a vegetable wrap on it. Okay, I don't want to use too much onion. So I'm just gonna wash my hands. I'm gonna warm up the. Just gonna warm up the thing there a little bit. Stove. Stove. Here, so. I normally put the meat first. So what I do is I put the meat first. I don't add oil because the meat already have oil. Uh, so I'm just going to put those two together. I'm just going to do this. So we, this is what I am doing for the meat now. It's a beautiful meat and it's so fresh. I'm gonna season it with salt. So this is how it looks like. I occasionally stir it so it doesn't get burned. I just put the onion. I almost forgot about the onion. I don't put the onion first because I don't want it to get burned. So this is how it looks like now. I just put the carrots and I'm gonna stir it occasionally and simmer it afterwards and put some seasoning. I'm gonna put lemon and soy sauce. So this is the soy sauce I'm gonna use and the lemon and the frozen sweet paste. 
I already had the pros and peas and it looks like this and I already had the soy sauce and lemon and I just taste it the way I like I like it tastes with the seasoning if it's already good I don't uh, measure it then I just have to simmer it afterwards so it looks like this it's already done so I'm just gonna do the plating so I'll do the plating now this is the lettuce wrap I am using it's the iceberg lettuce wrap and that's the plate and the cilantro so I am going to fill the lettuce wrap just like this I'll show you just by leaves just a piece of that and I'm just gonna put it in a in a plate. I probably going to do two leaves, and I'm making this for my son for his dinner tonight. Cause we already had dinner, but at least tomorrow we already have food that is prepared. So it looks like this. So it looks like that in a plate, just like a cup. And so I already put something here for the one that is made already. Let me taste the filling. It's just like the filling of the lettuce wrap. I also have pineapple in the fridge that you can also add on the topping. That is an optional. Let me taste it. Mm. it's good it's still hot so for this i'm just gonna put it inside it will be better too if you if you have avocado pineapple it's just like a mexican taco so it looks like like this is so pretty and I'm gonna close it up afterwards and I'm just gonna put some cilantro on the side there maybe I should put cilantro here because it's an optional cilantro adds so refreshing flavor I just love it I'm going to close it up so you can also see it. So this is the finished lettuce wrap. You can garnish it with pineapple too. Or avocado. So that's how it looks like. In a plate. And I made this for my son for his dinner tonight. I'm done for my cooking and my son is gonna come up afterwards to eat his supper on the table. So it's already preferred for him. And um, I hope uh, you enjoy staying with me while I am cooking. And thank you everybody for watching. And if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to click the subscribe button below to keep connected with each other and follow me on YouTube please. And thank you to all my supporters and to all my subscribers. Thank you so much and I'll see you on my next episode. God bless and take care.